what all this means, what we can expect to see next, and even some historical context. Let's join David Carley, who is uh, a doyen, I think, of the political world here at Westminster. Very good afternoon to you, David. Um, first of all, your immediate reaction to what we've just seen in this second round of votes. Well, it seems to me that when you compare what the results are with what polling we've had of Conservative members, what strikes me is that the top of the poll is Rishi Sunak, and yet amongst Conservative members, if the polls are accurate, Conservative Home, YouGov, conducted amongst Conservative members, uh, Sunak is down, and it's Mordaunt who's, who's at the top, along with Badenoch. So there is a disconnect, it seems at the moment at least, between what the members are looking for in terms of leadership and what the MPs are looking for. But that's not too surprising. The important thing, I guess, is that for most people who aren't members of the Conservative Party, most of these candidates they know very little about. So someone pointed out to me today that in 1997, 2001, wasn't it? And in 2005, the person who finished second amongst MPs actually went on to win the race. Yes, and what I think is also interesting about it is, what is it, the people who are going to vote in this are not the people who are sampled in national opinion polls. It's about 150, 200,000 Conservative Party members. So that's the electorate, and that's the people, those are the people to whom these candidates are pitching their, 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 their goods, so to speak, because they've got to convince them. They can be, you know, they can, everybody can love them in the city, everybody can take them to dinner parties in Westminster. That's nothing if the membership don't vote for them. And at the moment, it looks from the membership that if, the, if, if Rishi Sunak goes forward, as seems probably likely, then he's not going to be the next Prime Minister, according to the polls of Conservative members, which is in itself reasonably fascinating. And it may well be another proof of, of this second person leapfrogging over and becoming, becoming leader.